Hello everybody, so in today's tutorial I'm basically going to be showing you guys how you can easily replace a text on an image using Photoshop. Me personally, I'm using Photoshop CC 2018 for this version of the tutorial, I'm not exactly sure which update I'm using, although that information should be irrelevant. So starting off, you should already have an image selected, I'm going to be using this one right here, Sounds of the Lambs movie poster, one of my favorite movies of all time. So once you've got your image picked out, you're obviously going to want to open Photoshop. Create a new image with dimensions matching the image you'd like to edit. After you've gone ahead and done that, you're just going to want to insert the image into your Photoshop by pressing File, pressing the Open button, navigating to your picture, simply double clicking it, and ta-da. So starting off by actually removing the text. Um, I'm zooming in using the control and minus and plus buttons on my keyboard by the way. But anyway, starting off you're going to want to have the rectangular marquee tool selected on the top left of your Photoshop program. Once you've got that tool selected, simply click and drag and make sure you encompass the entirety of your text selection. Once you've selected that, all you have to do is click edit and then click, your, click the fill button or you can also just press shift and F5 which is going to bring up this little window, meaning basically that you're about to content aware delete this uh, this portion of your picture. Uh, this means basically that the background or whatever's behind the letters is going to adjust to the background of the image. In this case, it should be pretty easy since it's mostly black as you can see here and there's a little bit of white there, but that doesn't even really shadow into the actual portion of the text. So once you've uh, got all that, just hit OK. And yeah, it looks pretty good already. Uh, you can see the background matches with the outside of the selected box and you can just go ahead and repeat this process with all the other text you'd like to delete. One small tip, occasionally this fill button is actually going to be grayed out. Um, to fix that, all you have to do is click the layer button up here, click the smart objects button and then hit the rasterize button. If this was the case, this wouldn't be grayed out. But yeah, my image was already working properly. But like I said, this is only the case sometimes, and you'll know when this is the case because the fill button is grayed out and unable to be clicked on. But yeah, once you've got your text removed, um, what I actually did is I went ahead and did a Google search for the font style of the Silence of the Lambs movie poster. So I've actually already gone ahead and downloaded that font. Um, I suggest you do the same thing if you're doing something like a movie poster. So say you're doing the Silence of the Lambs like I did. All I did was look up the Silence of the Lambs movie poster font. And then I found the font using this website. Uh, it's called Binder Style. So then after that I just looked up Binder Style Download. Found the first link. There it is right there. So uh, if you don't know how to install the font already, all you have to do is download it and then it should give you a .zip file right here. Open that up and then just hit your Windows button, type in fonts, press enter. This, this will bring up a little window of all your font files. Um, now since I've already got this installed, I'm not going to do this, but what you're going to want to do now is go to your .zip file, select all the files that end in .ttf and simply drag them into the font window. Like I said, I've already got them installed, so I'm not going to be doing that. So once you've got your font downloaded, simply head back into your Photoshop file, select the text tool right there, and click on your image to create a new window for text. Now all you're going to want to do is type in the text that you'd like replaced with from the old text. Now what you can actually do is open the same picture, like the old pic original picture, again in the same Photoshop file, just like so, because now you've actually got a, a copy, uh, which you can use to maneuver your new text and uh, to make sure that it's the same color and, you know, same location as the old font. So once you have the um, old original text back on your poster, all you're going to want to do is triple click on your new text while still having the text tool highlighted then going up to your font section right here and simply picking the font that you just recently downloaded as you can see here it looks very similar 
and then kind of play around with it a little bit, make sure it's the same size. Now what you're going to want to do is select this tool right here called the eyedropper tool. Zoom in a little bit just so it's easier. And then you're going to want to select your old text by simply just right left click on it. It'll bring up a little color menu here. Then uh, hit your text selection tool again, triple click on your new text again, and re-click this little selection it made up there. And this is actually going to change the color to almost exactly the original color. So as you can see here, they look pretty similar. Now once you've done that, you can just uh, simply press this I button or even delete the entire layer again. Just click it, press delete on your keyboard, and it's gone. So yeah, there you have it folks, uh, there's the new text, same font, almost the same size, same color, it's that easy. Thanks for watching and have a good night.